Hello and welcome to this video where we will be comparing two of the most popular Java persistence APIs, JPA and Hibernate. We will take a look at their key differences and advantages. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and do share this video with your dev community. Now let's start with an introduction first. JPA is a specification for accessing, persisting and managing the data between Java objects and relational database. It defines a set of APIs for accessing and manipulating the data stored in the database. Hibernate on the other hand is a popular implementation of JPA that provides a full featured high performance and flexible ORM solution. ORM is object relational mapping where object is a Java entity and relation is a database entity which is also known as a table. It enables developers to interact with the database using Java objects only and eliminates the need of writing manual SQL code. So suppose developer needs to interact with one of the table suppose student in the database. So the developer will not be interacting directly with the table but they will have an entity student in the Java code itself and whatever changes they want to make in the table they will do it with the Java objects and that mapping will uh, fill the gap between Java object and the relational table itself. Now let's see the key differences between JPA and Hibernate. The first one is JPA is a standard interface for interacting with databases in Java. On the other hand, Hibernate is an ORM framework that implements JPA specification and provide the additional features on top of it. So we can talk in the terms of Java. We can consider that JPA is an interface where all the operations can be done is defined. Just like an interface, we only define the method names, abstract methods. And in case of Hibernate, its implementation is written like how those operations will be defined. So Hibernate will act as an implementation class to an interface. Next is JPA provides a standard set of APIs for data access like CRUD operations which is create, read, update and delete operations. Hibernate offers additional features and optimizations which are not specified in JPA. Next is JPA defines a set of annotations for mapping Java objects to a relational database and it provides a standard way of writing queries known as JPQL. Hibernate also provides a powerful query language known as Hibernate Query Language or HQL that is similar to JPQL but it also provides an option where we can write native SQL queries like the native SQL queries which can be directly executed in the database those we can write in case of Hibernate but there is no provi such provision in JPA for those queries. Now let's see the few additional features provided by Hibernate which are not there in JPA. Hibernate provides an optimization feature known as lazy loading which improves the performance of an application by loading only the required data from the database at initial stage. Hibernate has built-in caching support to improve the application performance. Most important is the second level cache. Hibernate supports a second level cache that can be used to cache data across multiple sessions thus improving the performance of your application. Hibernate provides support for transactional management making it easier to manage the data consistency and reliability. Hibernate also provides automatic schema generation under which it can automatically generate a complete database schema based on the Java objects which we have defined in our Java code. So that will also save a lot of time and effort. Hibernate also provides automatic dirty data check and many more features. Please let me know if you want I can prepare one detailed video on Hibernate's features itself where we can see them in detail. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. In case you like the video, please hit the like button and do share this with your dev community. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning.